your sound medium Jamaican trainer, aka your basketball guru. I'm here to talk to you about what's taking place right now in the NBA. We have the playoffs going on, everybody. So I'm going to be talking to you about the guards. The guards, the role that they play. All right, you see, in the Western Conference right now, we have the Rockets versus the Jazz. That is a very good matchup. I want to see how James Harden missed the step back and the veteran with the best IQ, Chris Paul, takes on Donovan Mitchell, Jay Crowder, and the Jazz. That's going to be a good game. I know that the Jazz defeated the Oklahoma City Thunders. A victorious win. Now they versus the Rockets. But I want to move along. And the Pelicans and the Warriors. That's going to be a good game. If you ask me my prediction, who's going to win? I'm going to go with the Warriors. And the, my prediction of the Rockets and Jazz? The Rockets. I want to see the Rockets and the Golden State Warriors for the playoffs. That's going to be a goodie. That's the step back. Chris Paul versus Kevin Durant, Draymond Green, Clay Thompson, and Steph Curry. I know Steph Curry's coming back. I don't think I know he's going to come back to the Oracle Arena and light things up with that beautiful jump shot. Look at it. Holy form. All right, that's the Western Conference. That's what's taking over over there. Now, let's talk about the Eastern Conference. I know a lot of people are fighting. I know some people got knocked off the first round, but we're still fighting. Cavaliers moved on to round two. We was able to defeat the Pacers, but I want to say Pacers, you put up a good fight with us. You tied the series up 3-3, but... LeBron James does what he does best and takes over game seven. And now we move on to first. The best team in the Eastern Conference, Toronto Raptors. That's going to be a goodie. The Cavaliers versus Toronto, that's good. That's going to be DeMar DeRozan versus LeBron James. Who? What better matchup is that? And now we have... Boston Celtics versus Philadelphia 76ers. I can't wait to see that. I know game one, Boston beat them, but I want to see if Philadelphia can answer back. Tonight, it's Toronto and Cavaliers. We're going to see what takes place, baby. And that's what's going on in the NBA right now. But I want to move on. I just told you the standings and everything that's going on. But I want to talk about the guards specifically. What's their role and what's their strengths? So now, I'm just going to say a couple of guards and, and what they do best. Let me see. Kyrie Irving. Kyrie Irving is one of the best finishers at the hoop. The best handlers, too. He can dribble, 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 break down the defense, and he can go and finish with an and one. That's Kyrie. Kyrie is the best handler and finisher at the rim. If you ask me, I know a lot of people love Kyrie. We have Donovan Mitchell, slam dunk contest winner. He's swifty fast and he's a good dunker. He shoots proper. He's nice. He's a rookie. Jason Tatum is a rookie. Jason Tatum, he's doing phenomenal at the Boston Celtics. Him and Jalen Brown, they are holding the team on their back. They are helping one another. They're trying to move on and I like that. I like to see it. I like to see a team when one player is out, they know how to adjust and help out. I like to see that. So we have Jason Tatum, Donovan Mitchell, Kyrie Irving, Victor Oladipo, Victor Oladipo, yo man, Victor, Victor, Victor is a good player. He's swifty fast. When I was watching the series going on, I was so scared. I'm going to tell my fans. I was so scared. Victor has that one, two step and finishes at the basket. It's hard to block a shot like that. The one, two, swifty, croft layup. That was hard. 
I was scared. I was like, ooh, he's going to make that. Because Victor is a beautiful finisher at the basket. He's a good shooter. He's a good attacker. Same thing like Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook is a beast, guys. A beast. He can dunk crazy. He can shoot crazy. He can attack the rim crazy. He has that beautiful, beautiful one-two pull-up shot. So when you're trying to back off because you know he's going to either drive or he's anticipating, he's just going to pull up. Bang. You have LeBron James. Even though LeBron James is not a guard, he plays all positions. So I'm going to include LeBron. LeBron knows how to control the game. When the game is slipping out of his hands, he knows how to settle down and get it right back. That's a good player. A good player knows when to attack, when to go, and when to calm it down, settle down, and then, and then move on. That's what I like about LeBron James. He's a good player. He's one of my favorite players. Same thing as Steph Curry. Steph Curry is the beautiful and wonderful shooter in the NBA. He can shoot crazy. He's also a good finisher at the basket. He makes that beautiful floater like it's nothing. I try to do it. Sometimes I'm not, I'm not perfect at it, but I'm trying to do that too. Many different players learn off each other. Many different players. And people, this is the J. Smith, your basketball guru. And I was talking to you guys about what's taking on, what's taking place in the NBA right now. About the guards and the semifinals. So stay tuned on the next video. I'll see you later, bro, John. That's what you call Google Talk.